Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Kurt Trailer Hitch Receiver here on a 2021 Lexus NX300. So this is what our trailer hitch is going to look like installed. Now thankfully most of it is going to be hidden behind our bumper here underneath the vehicle. It's also going to all have a powder coated finish which is going to be black. And what this does is it does a great job of not only helping it blend in with the underbody panels on our vehicle, it's also going to help protect the hitch from rust and corrosion, again, being that it's underside of the vehicle and it's much more subjected to the elements. So adding a trailer hitch to your NX300 is going to be a great option because it's going to make your vehicle that much more versatile. Now I'm sure you're aware we can already use a trailer hitch for towing, but some other things you may not have thought of. If we want to hit the trails or if we need to free up some space inside the vehicle for those long road trips, we can easily attach either a hitch mounted bike rack or cargo carrier. So thankfully, because our trailer hitch has a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, that's the larger of the few options that are available. This is going to provide us with a much greater variety of hitch mounted bike racks and cargo carriers to choose from. So if we take a look at the side of the receiver tube, you're going to see we have our industry standard 5 8 inch diameter hitch pin hole. That's going to accept the standard 5 8 inch diameter hitch pin and clip. Keep in mind the hitch pin is going to be sold separately. Most bike racks or cargo carriers, however, do come with their own. Welded to the bottom of the receiver tube, you're going to see we have our safety chain loops. Those are going to work with both the larger Clevis style as well as the smaller S-type. So a common question we get here at eTrailer with these newer SUVs that have that hands-free lift gate feature, you guys are always wondering if it's going to work with your hitch in place. Thankfully for this hitch here in this vehicle, it is going to be operational. The sweet spot, however, is definitely a little bit smaller than you may expect. You do have to place your foot in an exact location, but then you can see it is operational. So now we got a couple measurements for you guys here. They're going to help you when you're selecting your hitch mounted accessories. The first one is the distance from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube. This one is going to be about 13 and a half. That's going to be useful when you're selecting a ball mount. That way you can get the correct rise and drop to tow your trailer level. The other one we like to give is the distance from the center of the hitch pin hole to the outside edge of the bumper. This one is going to be about three and a half inches. And that's going to be useful when you're selecting your folding accessories, such as a bike rack or cargo carrier. That way you can make sure that while they're in the stowed position, that they don't contact the bumper. So in regards to installation, thankfully this one is pretty simple. We actually don't have to unbolt anything on the vehicle. We're going to be removing a couple exhaust hangers. They're just going to simply drop down for the time being until we can raise our hitch up into position. But then it's just pretty much going to bolt on the vehicle. It's definitely something I feel you guys can do at home. We'll go ahead and walk you through this process step by step now. So the first step of our installation, we're going to go ahead and support our exhaust here because we will be lowering this to get our hitch into position. So if you guys are working on the ground, chances are you can just use a couple blocks of wood or if you have a jack stand. But since we're in the air, we need to use some sort of strap here. We're just going to tie it to two points on the vehicle's frame and then we'll pull it tight to provide some support when we break the hangers free. So we're gonna have three hangers that we need to break free from the rubber isolators. This one right here is a little bit easier to see. You can see the metal rod going through the rubber isolator. We're simply just gonna be removing it from there. In order to help us with this, we're gonna go ahead and spray down each of our three rubber isolators here with some sort of lubricant. So we have one in the center and then one on the end of each tailpipe. So now we're gonna take either an exhaust hanger removal tool or just a simple pry bar, whatever we have handy. We're gonna go ahead and break that hanger free from the isolator. So we have to do this three times, one on each end and then one in the center. So once we break all of our hangers free from the isolators, Chances are the tailpipes are still going to get caught in these keepers here. So what you're going to do is you're going to push back towards the front of the vehicle and just pry them down out of this little cup here. And as you can see, we have much more room to work now. So now with an extra set of hands, we can go ahead and set our hitch up into position. Our attachment holes are going to be on the outside of the frame. And we need to make sure that the teeth on our conical tooth washer are facing the hitch side.
Now once we have our hitch into position and all the hardware inserted, we're going to take a 19 millimeter socket. We're going to tighten and torque everything down to the specifications and our instructions. So then once we have all of our hitch hardware torqued down, don't forget to raise your exhaust back up into position. And that's going to do it today for our look and installation of the Kurt trailer hitch receiver here on our 2021 Lexus NX300.